Hello Pisces and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This message will be for September 8th through the 14th and we'll have an intention for this week. If you find that the message resonates or that it's helpful with your situation, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe to the channel. Everyone is always welcome here. I offer uh, upload daily messages. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to subscribe. So Pisces, here we go. I was getting this sense here, Pisces, when I was doing your pre-shuffle that you're really focusing on setting boundaries. Um, setting those boundaries and communicating clearly what it is that you want out of a situation and why will be pertinent this week in the movement forward of some scenario. Okay, so make sure, make sure you're getting clear on your boundaries, on what it is that you want out of a situation, what you will accept and what you won't accept. Um, and then take it one step further and ask why. Why are you having these expectations? Okay, is it reasonable? And then set it. Set it and forget it. Also, Everyone and their mom may be trying to ask for help. So don't be afraid to say no. And that's exactly why um, it, it's going to be pertinent this week to set these boundaries. Okay. Also, focus on yourself, your inner circle, and don't forget to utilize the full moon energy to set your intentions, okay? So on the 13th is when the moon is the fullest. Take some time to cleanse your energy and really um, focus writing it out and focus on what it is that you truly want for the rest of the year and why. Setting those tensions and utilizing that full moon energy is going to be pertinent in the manifestation of what it is that you truly want this year. Okay. Uh, also, really quickly, if it's something you're interested in, I do offer full moon cleanse kits on my website. Um, so that if you're interested in that, you can check it out. Information is below in the description box. So, Pisces, the cards that came out for you deep knowing and truth be told deep knowing symbolizes intuition truth be told they're both intuitive cards if you notice there's an owl in both of these cards both have faces in them as well um truth be told symbolizes having a peek into the window of reality um uh, having a higher sense of wisdom a higher sense of knowing a what the truth of a situation is, okay? And I really feel like maybe at first it was your intuition that was telling you what this truth was. And then you pre kept pressing the issue and that's when the truth finally came out. So, let's see what the tarot has to say about this because that's interesting those two cards came out together Pisces 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 just setting my timer really quick um, so I can make sure that I stay on track with these readings so let's see Pisces what's the most important message for you what can we see I'm going to do a past, present, and future um, spread for you. Hmm. 
I feel like in the past there was some family conflict um, that kind of kept you stagnant in a situation, kept you tied to maybe staying in the same city. And then I get the sense that you made this decision to move away. And it didn't resolve anything. There was still some, there was still a lot of conflict. There was still a lot of delays within your um, family construct. I really, um, want to also say here that this might have been a family like a partnership that you had kids with type of family because we have the four of wands coming out in reverse as well as the three of cups coming out in reverse so i feel like there may have been a separation due to a betrayal um and that may have been why you decided to move away from this scenario Okay, move away from this person. Understand that there was definitely a karmic lesson that needed to be learned within this situation. And I feel like it was more so having to do with your uh, the, the person you're involved with than you, Pisces. But I'm really... Um, making this decision to move away, even though it was very burdening for you, it, it was necessary, okay? I need to start putting the cards out instead of just talking. <laughs> um, this movement forward from this, this scenario, it was an uphill battle. I feel like you didn't want to leave. You didn't want to get out of this situation. Um, maybe you were fighting for your family, trying to make it work for the kids. But I get the sense that ultimately moving away from this person was probably the best, that you, the best decision you ever could have made. And even though this ending was very painful, it brought in justice to the situation. Okay. made you definitely be more selective with who you allowed in your life with the four of cups I feel like your focus changed immensely once you went through this process with this this person Understand, Pisces, that you're still going through this healing process, okay? Because the Page of Cups, um, the Page of Cups symbolizes an offer, could be an offer in relationships, okay? But I feel like you're not... You're still conflicted about this, okay? You're still conflicted about this offer of moving forward. Even though you may already be seeing um, benefits from moving out of this scenario, and maybe even some truth was revealed about this betrayal, right? Um, I still get the sense that you are feeling very conflicted, very confused about this tower moment. There's still a lot of confusion surrounding this Pisces. So do I have any more room for these cards that, just, that were on the bottom of the deck? So the two cards that were on the bottom of the deck after the seven of cups in the tower came out. The Queen of Swords, Temperance, Clarity and Balance will come back into your life 
Pisces, once you make this decision and stick with it. You want to know what, what I feel will help you, Pisces, um, in getting through this process is really taking some time to review this situation. Look at the situation very practically. No sugarcoating shit. Excuse my French. No sugarcoating nothing. And really honestly and practically look at the scenario. Weigh the pros and cons. If the pros outweigh the cons, then stay. If the cons outweigh the pros, go. It's very simple. And at some point when there's so much water under the bridge, there's going to be a tipping point, right? You have to make what decision is going to be best for you, Pisces. Uh, ultimately, I feel like you will. Okay? I understand it's a process. Trust me. I understand it's not easy. Uh, processing trauma. Okay? I understand that it's a challenge to get over the these memories of love that keep coming up. It's very challenging to let this go. But understanding that there's better options ahead for you, okay? That walking away from this situation has set the stage for this firm foundation. For you to move forward in okay you're not moving away to start a brand new life you're starting from experience so don't be afraid to uh, do what's best for you do what's best for Pisces Isn't that what we all want? Balance. Balance within our life. Well, you can't ignore that card, can you, Pisces? <laughs> boundaries. Setting boundaries, okay? And sticking to them. Once you set a boundary and that boundary is crossed and you've said, okay, once this boundary is crossed, this is what I'm going to do, you have to stick to that. Or it's going to show this person that you're willing and flexible on your boundaries. So which person would you prefer to be? You have what it takes. You have the inner wisdom to get through this. Uh, you may also be being divinely guided through this situation. Take some time to rest, contemplate, take a review of the past, what's gone on in this situation. Understand that on the 13th is the perfect day to set your intentions for the next six months. And really, really focus on that review, that patience and planning process. I know it's not easy walking away from a scenario that we envisioned was our future, but sometimes in certain situations, it is for the best. So that's the message that I have for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.